What is going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make an overlay intro in Sony Vegas. Now just before I get into this tutorial, if you'd like to request a tutorial then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Now for those that don't know what an overlay intro is, then this is it right now. As you can see, my background is just on the screen and my intro is playing on top. It's actually very simple to create and let's get into the tutorial. So for this, what we'll need is media generators and video effects. Video effects will be optional and you'll see why later in the video. So media generators, if you do not see this right here, simply come to view windows layout and select default layout. So from here, we need to come down until we see solid color, which is right here. And we are going to be selecting green. Green because it's going to be on a green screen. So this is what you should get, just a green screen. And then just right click here, insert a new video track. And now we add our text. So we need legacy text, of course. And you can choose which type of text you like. For me, I'm going to go with the soft shadow like I usually do. And this is what you'll get. So now you can just go ahead and type out your text. So I've entered my text right there, it's a bit big, so I'm going to press Ctrl and A, and I'm going to put it about 65, just like that. Now you can choose the font to whatever you want to, as you can see, um, there's a bunch of default fonts, but if you've installed fonts in the past, then of course you can use them because they will be in this list. So I'm going to go with the Pepsi font right here, and as you can see it's a bit big, so again I'm going to put it down to 55 this time. Now you can come across to placement, you don't really need to change anything, but you can if you want to. And the properties, as you can see here, we can change the text color. On the right, we can change a background color. Now the background color, you do not touch. It has to stay at this right here, the checkered one you see. This means there's gonna be no background to the text. So you can choose the text color, whatever you want. I'm gonna keep mine white. And then we can head over to the effects tab. And as you can see, you can draw an outline. And I'm gonna have an outline, but I'm gonna change the color to black. I'm also going to come to the width and put it up a bit, just like that. So I'm happy with that and I'm going to X out of it. So at the moment it looks a bit blurry and the reason for that as you can see up here is set to preview and auto. If I set it to best and full, as you can see it's looking really good so far. Now the reason I have it set to preview and auto, so there is no lag when I come to playing through my videos. So now it's time to add some animation. So whatever you want to happen to the text. So just to be uh, very simple, I'm going to make it zoom in. So let's come to the event pan and crop. And this is what you should see right here. Now you want to make sure lock aspect ratio is checked. Also size about center is checked. This will keep everything in proportion when you move it out. So make sure sync cursor is checked. Make sure you're selected onto position. Simply come from a corner and drag it out. Just like that. Now we're going to find uh, how long we want it to take to zoom all the way in. So I'm going to go um, two seconds and I'm going to come back to the event pan and crop. I'm going to right click here and click restore. As you can see it brings it back full screen. Now I'm not done there yet. What I want to happen next, I want it to flip. And the way you do this, you want to change the compositing mode to 3D source alpha. Now we're going to be using track motion. So I'm going to come to track motion, I'm going to lay down a keyframe and now I'm just going to position this so you can see it better. So I'm going to flip it just like this and I'm going to let it finish like so. Now if we X out of this and play it through, as you'll see, it's now got a tilt to it. But what if we want it to spin when it comes up? So we're going to come to the same keyframe. And we're going to come to the start of the keyframe actually. And you want to make sure you have this rotation button. If you do not see it, then simply click here, enable rotation. And you want to make sure you have the X and the Y. So just going to spin it back so it goes off screen a bit. Just like that. Now if I X out of this and play this through. As you can see, it sort of slides up and it flips up at the same time. And after that. It's just going to stay still, maybe 5 seconds. So I'm just going to shorten this down to 5 seconds. And what we've just done is made a 
intro just like that. So if you come to file render as after this and of course just call it whatever you want to. As you can see it is now rendered you can save it if you want to the projects but I'm not going to. So I'm just going to select new and there is the intro right here. Now come to projects media and just drag it in your projects media and I'm going to drag on this video as an example. So this is one of my actual videos and I'm going to drag on the intro on top of it. As you'll see it's green we cannot see our intro. Now if you're wondering what these tiny black bars are here as you can see the projects that see 1360 by 768. So if I put it to my original settings as you can see the black bars have gone and you need to go to properties, disable resample and uncheck maintain aspect ratio on both the video and your intro you just made. So that's what we're going to see. But now we need to get rid of the green screen so how do we do this exactly? Well we come over to video effects, you look for chroma key and you add on green screen. Just drag, drop and it's off. So if we play this through, just like that we've made an overlay intro. Now remember earlier when I brought up about uh, having video effects or how it would be useful? Well this is where you can have the background blurred out. So if we just drag on the um, Gaussian blur here so we come to video effects and look for Gaussian blur which is right there. Let's add on a light blur onto the video itself. As you can see it gives it a blur and now we come to these buttons which is the animation button. So we want it to be blurred from the start since it is our intro at the start and then we want it to slowly fade out. So we're going to add a keyframe right here just before it ends then we're going to add a keyframe here but with this keyframe we're going to turn the horizontal range and the vertical range to zero. So if we X out of this and we play this from the beginning now you can see it's already blurred but let's just play it through. As you can see it gave it a smoother transition the intro text was much more easier to see and you just created yourself an overlay intro. Anyway that's it for this video I hope this video has helped you as you can tell it's actually very simple to make an overlay intro of course just spend more time when you get onto the animating and maybe you could add a transition to the text as well. Like I said at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.